Hello friends, this video on 3 dimensional geometry part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 15. Now we'll study a very important topic on plane. What is plane? So if you have, let's suppose x, y, z, f is like this. Plane is something, a rectangular sheet kind of stuff you see, right? This can be a plane. So a line is like this, right? point is like this, a point, a line, and then if you have, let's suppose, this kind of stuff, it's a plane, right? Or it can be, example, it is a rectangular sheet kind of stuff is called plane. So if you see, a line has only length, plane will have breadth also, so this kind of stuff, it's plane. So a plane is determined if you know the normal to the plane, that is this perpendicular this you know and you know the distance of this point from origin for example from origin you know that there is a plane like this right you know this is the perpendicular distance of this normal to this plane and that in that case you can uniquely tell that this is a plane because I know the direction and I know the distance from the origin. If it passes through a point and is perpendicular to a given direction, so if it is passing through a point and is perpendicular to a given direction, in that case also we can find the plane. It passes through three given points, then also we can specify the plane. For example, in case of line, we tell that if the line passes through a point and it is parallel to a line vector, I can tell the equation of the line. It passes through P1, P2 point, I can tell the equation of line. Similarly, in case of plane, if it passes through three points, you can tell the equation of the plane. If it passes through a point and it is perpendicular to a given direction, we can tell the equation of the plane. And if we know the normal and the distance of this normal from the origin, we can tell the equation of the plane. So let's take the first case where the normal form where we know that uh, plane is uh, this is the plane and this is let's suppose uh, distance d from the uh, center. So this is my n vector. This is my n vector, right? And the distance is d actually for this. Because this guy is nothing but, if you see, this guy is 90 degree with the plane. So I have my plane and this line, the line, the green, makes 90 degree with the plane. And the unit vector is n cap, the, the direction vector of this. And the length is d. And let's take any point x, y, z in the plane, any point. And let the vector be r. Correct. Now if you see that, you find the projection of this guy r vector on this unit vector n cap the distance is d that means you can say that r vector the projection on this line is d and this is the equation of the plane so that is the simplest proof actually if you have r vector you want to find the projection of this vector on this unit vector n cap this direction you say r dot n vector and that is d Correct? Or what you can do is, we can uh, prove this in using another way also. So if this guy is distance d, let me put some name here. So if this guy is distance d and this is my n vector, okay, so let's suppose this is p point, so my op vector is nothing but d into n. This is op vector and let's suppose this is q. My oq vector will be 
r vector and my pq vector this guy is this this guy is this pq vector will be q vector minus uh, pq will be this this plus this is equal to pq so r vector minus dn vector correct because pq vector is oq vector minus oq vector this is my pq vector now I'm, i know that this vector pq vector is perpendicular to p vector so i'll show you that my pq vector is nothing but oq vector minus oq vector that is r vector minus d n cap correct also in that p q vector is perpendicular to o p vector thus p q vector dot o p vector will be zero or you can say that r vector minus d n cap dot o p vector op vector is what op vector is n cap is equal to zero or you say r n cap minus d n cap vector dot n cap vector is equal to zero n cap vector dot n cap vector will be one right you do a dot product of two unit vectors that is one so you get r dot n vector is equal to so that is also one proof for us Correct. R dot n vector is equal to d. Let's have the same equation in the Cartesian form. Let's assume this is my x y z plane. This is my uh, x. This is my plane. This is my n vector. And this is my r vector, right? So I have this formula: r vector dot n cap is equal to d, which we have just proved it. The same formula. I'll use it. So instead of r, I'll say x i plus y j cap plus z k cap. Why? Because I assume this guy is any x y z point in the plane, and let this uh, n cap will be l i plus M J plus N K, right? Where L M N N are cosines of uh, direction cosine of this vector, N cap. The same formula will be used. R dot N cap is equal to D or X I plus Y J cap plus Z K cap dot N cap. That is L I M J N K is equal to D. Or you get L X plus M Y plus N Z. This is my equation in the form of Cartesian product. Equation of plane in the normal form in the form of Cartesian product, where X Y Z is any point in the plane, and L M Y are the direction cosine of this uh, perpendicular because perpendicular direction is known to me, and D is the distance that this perpendicular makes from this origin. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.